Hey everybody, it's Adrian. I have sewing to do tonight, but I wanted to take a moment and relax. It's been a really long day, and I wanted to share with you this catalog that I found several months ago now at an estate sale. And this is just so cool that I really always wanted to share it. And I thought this might be a nice little video to put on in the background while you're working too. Um, this catalog is from Shenfeld. Um, it basically has never been used and it is just so cool. And I particularly love this Paris inspired color schemes for your entire wedding party based on the season. And then like, you know, if you like pink, blue or green, I just love everything about this little catalog. And I thought it could be fun to go through this together. Um, this is from Schenfeld and Sons at 103 Hester Street in New York. And I just love this. Um, the prices are so cute because nothing is this inexpensive anymore. It's got their business policies on the back here and it comes with swatches. So let's just take a little time to go through this together. The illustration on the front is so beautiful. I love her dress and honestly this shape is like back in fashion, back in circulation all over again. You can see it's got a table of contents right up front with all the items that'll be in the chart, in the catalog here. My favorite thing about this is that it has the price list, the welcome sheet, the pattern service, an order form. Like it's never been used. And it even has the original envelope to send back in. And you can see it's um, like letterpress. It's really nice. And I just, I love stuff like this. This is totally my jam. So when I saw this, I grabbed it, like, and nobody cared. But whenever I buy fun stuff at this at estate sales that I love, literally nobody else cares. And I'm like, that's fine. I care. So it has a welcome letter over here from the bridal consultant, Elizabeth Packard, on the front. And another beautiful illustration. And I think the coolest thing about this is that it comes with swatches. Now, some of these don't feel the greatest anymore because they, I mean, these have been in here for so long. Like, I can't quite tell. We'll look for a year as we go through this, but um, it has little pieces and the prices on this. Could you imagine if bridal satin was still $3.30 a yard? Oh my goodness. I would buy all of it. Um, so this is double-sided um, satin. It's really shiny and beautiful. Um, this one's a little bit of like a thinner weight. Um, they've got some different colors in here for princess satin and duchess bridal. And you can even see the weaves are a little bit different. So I particularly love this as a fabric junkie just in general because it makes like a nice dictionary, you know, to be able to look up. They have all the different taffetas here and file. It's, you pronounce it file like a filing cabinet. Um, bengaline. That's how you know it's bingling. It makes that sound. This is silk. Now, it says Shantine, but Shantung, Dupioni are all kind of like used interchangeably. So you never really know what you're looking at until you like read the fiber content. This one says it's Italian silk, exquisitely textured with a lovely soft sheen. Magnificent to behold. That's $7 a yard for 50 inches wide. Ugh. That's one of my favorite types of fabrics. I actually don't know how to pronounce this one. You never knew how to pronounce it. I know exactly what it is when I touch it, when I see it. Don't know how to say it. Iridescent taffeta means it's woven with one color in one direction and one another. So this is like a white and red. Velvet and velveteen. This is gorgeous. And I like this cute little corally shade. It's actually a little bit softer in person than it is coming up on the camera. This gorgeous... This is like the blackest black velvet. It's really nice and thick, thick pile. Crush resistant and fast pile velvet. The ultimate in quality. It's so pretty. Now, as far as I know, velvet and velveteen just refers to um, like the length of the nap. So velveteen is much shorter and um, it's a weave. So this could be cotton, which kind of feels like a whaleless corduroy. And you can see the 
mean, you can see the length of the pile on this one is much bigger. This one's the thickest, though. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, this netting. Couture netting. Now, this is crispified, and I doubt that it came in yellow. I'm pretty sure that has aged over time, but they have a couple of different lace print-offs there. Don't mind the mess on my desk. <laughs> it's bridal season. Um, organdy, which is still, I mean, most of these fabrics are still widely used. Dancette. This is that dotted nylon organdy. We don't really use that in bridal a ton, I would say. So beautiful. Brocades. All the florals. I wonder if this one, are you going to come all the way off? Yeah, so you can see it's like the reverse coloring on the back side because it's woven all the way through. So pretty. Pure silk organza. She's got a little crisp to her. She's really pretty. Oh, I just love this. I haven't really made time to go through this whole catalog at all yet, but it is so stunning. <gasps> lame. Look at the high texture on that lame. If that's not vintage, I don't know what is. Tea time file. This is a crepe fabric. That's really pretty. Christelle. I like all the trade names for these. And then honestly, some of these lace patterns, we still see these stitched out in like Chantilly still exists. We definitely use lots of Chantilly still. <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't think I knew this page spread existed. These are fabulous crowns. My eye went right to that one. Oh my gosh. $11. Whoa. I would have bought a million. Now, gosh, I haven't seen a date on this yet anywhere. Look, I'm looking on like the bottoms, but when I figure out when this is from, obviously inflation and like the skill set of people who know how to make these has decreased. So these could still be made today. Um, I actually have a great interest in millinery work and um, my grandma actually had something really similar to this crown for her um, wedding ensemble. These are so stunning. Little pillbox. Ugh. It says, Shenfeld creates crowns and veils to flatter you and enhance the beauty of your face. All crowns are fully adjustable. You do not have to indicate size. Oh, <gasps> look, you can buy the frames. Even this picture is helpful for recreating some of these frames too, I would say. 16 gauge aluminum wire would be absolutely perfect to recreate those types of um, frames. And there's some netting for veils. Oh, that is super, oh, it's dead. I should put some tape over that because that is not going to survive. These are for bridesmaids, so your bridesmaid can have a fancy hat as well. These laces. Now, these do appear to have come in yellow. I don't think they decolored that badly. <laughs> um, corded laces. So, they have the terms down here. Oliver lace. So, lace has no scallops on the edges. Flounces and galloons. These are gorgeous. Oh. Oh, look at that. Corded lace. That's stunning. I really like this color. It's like a soft blue, dusty blue. These are fantastic. And even back then, $27 a yard, that's like, that's still a lot of money now for a lace. I mean, it's still comparable. I mean, I spend money on lace all the time, so <laughs> no judgments there. <gasps> Hoop skirts. Oh. And these are also, we still have all these. These all still exist as perfectly good. Uh, foundation garments to shape your skirt. Look at all these different trims. These are so stunning. Oh. Look at the color chart back here. Coral, light blue, copen, gold, turquoise. Nylon mitts. Look at these little gloves. Send a swatch for color matching. Oh, I love that. I love ring bearer pillows, especially that are heart shaped. I love stuff like that. Oh, wedding bows. Oh, these are gorgeous. 
Now let's take a moment to look at the confidential dressmakers price list. Um, obviously this company doesn't exist anymore and if they do they don't exist in this capacity so I don't feel bad sharing this confidential list. Um, these list and discounted prices, $2, $3, $5.75 a yard, these are amazing. Oh, prices subject to change without notice. Lily of the Valley. Oh, these are so... Could you imagine if we could buy tool for 65 cents a yard? I mean, it's still like, it's like a dollar ninety nine a yard and we, you know, use coupons and stuff. But could you imagine if it just came that way already? Imported velvet for 25 cents a yard. It's probably a ribbon. Oh yeah, half inch. I just had so much fun looking through all this. Oh, you can get a remnant pack. We have a number of special pieces left over from our regular stock, which are remnants, damage, etc., ranging in size from one quarter yard to two yards, and are put up into packages. These remnants are greatly in demand by people making dolls, costumes, ornaments, etc. Guaranteed list value to be at least $10. $3 per bundle. I love that. And a pleating service. It's really hard nowadays to find any uh, companies that pleat fabric. So permanent pleating is... I don't want to say it's a dying art because I hate people say that about the seamstress, seamstress life in general, but it is harder to find. There's specialty companies that do sunburst and straight and all the different styles of chemical pleating. And I love this right here. One eighth inch wide pleats. Oh, this is fantastic. And then I'm just going to take, get this cute little, oh. I just love all of this. I hope you guys found this to be as interesting as I do. Look at this cute little welcome card. How happy we are to welcome you into the growing circle of dis discriminating. I would have used the word discerning. Fashion conscious women who are quick to appreciate the opportunity of obtaining fine fabrics at truly sensible prices. Oh, I love that. This is so lovely. Oh. November 30th, 1958 is when this card needed to have been returned. So I presume it was from 1957 or earlier in that same year. So, oh, well, that makes me feel delighted to know because I could definitely tell us was from the 50s at some point. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to this and I hope you guys have a great night sewing. If you're going to be up late tonight, uh, just keep your eyes sharp, sew slow and keep moving forward.